Hello, welcome back to Brenda Shishi. Last morning, this episode I'm gonna be sharing a breakdown of my simple robot. So it's all created using stretch of notes and also geometry notes. So there's a lot of things here, but yeah, it's, you you might already kind of tell this is actually pretty easy and simple to make. It's just I'm I try to make everything as um, organized as possible. So let's hide all this. And we can start going backward from geometry nodes. So currently, what is this robot? This is the default cube, but I didn't use the original geometry. I simply use all these parts, head, body, legs, arms. Um, so this cube is using geometry nodes to combine everything together. But the combination, this is actually made of all uh, different parts of another geometry nodes with this I can actually scale I can rotate so it's, there's some kind of hierarchy uh, but if I try to move it around you might see there's something it, it's not parented so that's probably current the current limitations or maybe I, I'm doing it wrong however uh, so let's take a look I can actually scale the head. I can move it around. I can scale the body, things like that. And all these parts, like the arms um, or the legs, can be adjusted. Like the, the with the body part, I can actually scale it whatever I like. I can adjust the position of the arm, etc. That's all being handled handled using these uh, geometry nodes. Okay, so that's uh, that's one thing we cover. But all this part is made of smaller smaller parts, um, and I try to organize it in a collections. And each part is actually like this. You can see at the bottom. So you, you think of this robot as um, and each part uh, being generated separately and we're gonna try to cover everything. Let's start, let's hide this guy, tap H to hide. We can start with the head. Um, okay, so with the head, I have a single object which is beta that's being generated using stretch of nodes. So I'm gonna go into head. So under the heads, we can see all these nodes, and I can show you how I made all this. So the head, I started with just a cube or a box, and then I I resize it and scale it into shapes. Okay, so that's uh, that's the first piece, and on top of that, it actually goes sideways under geometry nodes, and it's performing all this boolean. So boolean cut. Um, so it's using the original geometry, and it's doing a cut using alpha and another boolean using gamma, delta, and so on. So this happens to all different parts of the robot. It should um, logically make sense. So I can play around now with uh, like the eye size, how far how far apart the eyeballs. Oh, it doesn't have eyeballs, but placement for the eyes and all things connected together. Okay, the ear is simply just a box, but I boolean it. So it connects to the original head. So there's a bit of uh, design decision, and also the mouth. Okay, you can tweak it whatever you like. So that's the head. The body is simpler. It's just a cylinder and a box, and I do boolean cut. The legs and the arms is actually very similar. 
So it's the, this one is a little bit more esoteric. Um, let's go to the legs. So the way I do it is simply using this align mesh by another mesh. This one is really cool actually. Um, to make hierarchy, you can really take advantage of this um, align mesh by mesh. So I have the bottom leg. I can scale it. And if, if I scale, whatever I scale, it's gonna keep stacking the objects, the next objects. Like for example, I have this donut. So I make this donut as part of the legs. I think it's kind of nice to have that. And then for the next part I have cylinder and then icosphere, cylinder, icosphere. They are all being stacked automatically because of this align mesh by mesh. Because the arm and the legs is usually they're connected like this, you know, like a stacking blocks. Okay. Same thing with the arms. I'm simply stacking multiple objects together. And with the legs and the arm, I simply join the geometry using geometry nodes. So it's all combined like this. So now that everything is being created, now I, I can simply use geometry nodes to put everything together. The the actual hierarchy of this guy. So currently I'm simply using kind of like a an absolute numbers for each one of these. Ideally, if I change the body of the robot, everything kind of connected and change the hierarchy. Um, that that part is a little bit complicated at the moment still. But at at least for now, if I if whenever I make changes to this guy, everything will update for each part. So if I go to the body, so I can I can still make changes to the body like that, you know. I can make it a little bit like that. I can try maybe even like to make the neck, the neck part. So the robot is not complete without the neck. So I can do that if I want to. This is just for the details of the robot. Oh, this part is actually interesting. It's doing a a boolean cut and also keeping the, the the original. So let me let me explain this part. Actually, the body is quite interesting. So geometry nodes select the the body part epsilon. You can see here it's doing boolean intersect, but I also do this boolean difference. So the intersect, I keep the intersect and I scale it a little bit smaller. So this adds that kind of really nice detailing. So something, just an idea. So if you put everything together, you get this robot. So you need to, uh, oh yeah, I actually use collections to manage each part. So if whatever I created, here using Sketchup, I put it in the in the in the correct collections: body with body, legs with legs, etc. So everything is uh, really quite connected together. So if I ever made any changes, for example, the icosphere, see the knee. So like I said, um, ideally you have some kind of template. Before all this, you create a template, maybe like using armature, because armature already have hierarchy. If you adjust the leg part, I mean, uh, the size of the legs or the arms with the, with the bones, it will change, and then this could update accordingly. So that's one way to do this. Uh, but I think, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, you can combine everything together, maybe send it to Mixamo, Give it some animation and it's gonna work it's really quite simple i mean of course you, you need to work 
also with the shader and the materials and adding details like the eyeballs maybe the inside of the mouth the ear part this part of the body adding texture maybe painted by hands all those before it's become like a complete character but uh, you get the idea right this is it every part is made separately and it's become like a portable um, yeah that's basically what the procedural workflow is all about it's a I think it's modular uh, that's the keyword and it's not the simplest and sometimes you it's, it feels funny if you work from here and you create something here sometimes you want to work here as well you know like a hands-on making design decision on the fly over here but anyway it's a it's an interesting exercise you try to make this yourself make like robot character like this or like um, maybe four leg creature but still I think robot and mechanical objects um, and machinery is interesting to study you can make basically practically anything if you look around around you and and find some ins inspirations of any human made they will actually make it very efficient in terms of cutting it using boolean method um, well so anyway yeah you got all the tools here uh, maybe some of them is incomplete maybe some still can be um, can be simpler but uh, overall you can make your own robots and the most important this is actually original design I'm not copying any, anything but this I know this is basic but still um, if you try yourself maybe you can come up with something more interesting I especially like the this the fit the fit part you know. it's very simple it's just it's just a cylinder whenever I like to add more details I can I can do that pick the one you like the the, the arm and the hands actually this this part should be better looking but anyway anyway this is my robot the first version of the robot I will try to make a more complex one in the future anyway thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye